Hi guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how I'm taking my photos for the Tpro UK Instagram account. As you can see, this is a, a bedroom, so it's not a fancy studio or anything, and this is pretty much where I take most of our photos. And um, apart from this foam board that I bought on Amazon, um, all the other props that I'll be using are just random things that I found in the house, in the flat, and that most of you will have as well. And I also will take uh, the photos with my phone. Usually I do use my uh, Canon 70D camera, but on this occasion, let's see what happens if I just use this. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So usually the number one rule in photography that you would learn is not to shoot against the light unless you have like an amazing camera. However, uh, with T photography, what I found is that sometimes it actually creates a really, really cool effect. So I'll show you both ways and then you can decide for yourself which one you prefer. So this is me shooting with the light. Let me just adjust it quickly to make the composition more appealing. In fact, I'll move it because I can see the edge of the frame and it doesn't look very nice. Okay, and now I'm gonna walk around and I am going to take the photo from the other side. And let's see how that looks like. Maybe on this occasion we can actually move it over here. As you can see, both options work. However, personally, I prefer to shoot against the window because I feel like it creates a really interesting depth within the photo. And um, especially with this glass, because the light is able to shine through it, it just creates such beautiful, beautiful patterns. So <laughs> definitely a tip from me. The shot that you will actually get to see the most on my Instagram account is this one. Just because I absolutely love how the light creates these beautiful shapes and effects on the photo when you take out the infuser glass. It's absolutely beautiful. Another photo that I like taking is the flat lace. So simply take it from the top. Um, however, sometimes the image might look a bit naked. So I like adding different props to tell a more compelling and interesting story. So let's do that. Usually I like mixing different textures. So for example, some wood. Uh, obviously we already have metal in here. Maybe an old book. and a really cool tea towel. When I choose my props, I try to go for a wide variety of textures. So for example, I really like tea towels, um, try and keep them simple, uh, just stick to one color. Don't use really busy patterns because they really take away from the picture. I love old antique books. I love different woods and chopping boards. Um, I love little spoons. <laughs> I like this wooden one and this one that I picked up at a charity shop as well. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so lots of different interesting textures that I've got, um, you know, this is like just pieces of cinnamon, for example. So be creative, just pick up whatever you can find in your house and see what, what looks good. The very last photo that I like to take is to hold the glass in my hand and literally take sort of like a POV uh, point of view shot, which I think looks pretty cool. 
Okay, so the final step in taking beautiful tea photos is actually the editing process. I really like using this app called Snapseed. So I'm just gonna show you how I tend to edit my photos usually. First, I will import a photo. I really like this flat lay shot because I think it came out really nicely. First of all, I use tune image feature and I would increase the brightness in this one, increase the contrast ever so slightly, and maybe the saturation. I tend to play around with ambience. Sometimes I increase it and sometimes I decrease it. In this case, I think I would decrease it. Um, highlights as well. And I would increase the warmth just a little bit to give it this really beautiful glow. Okay, I'm happy with the result. I can see the edges of the photo a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, rotate the photo slightly, just to make sure that there's nothing in frame that is not supposed to be in frame. And then my um, one of my favorite tools as well is the selective brush. So uh, when I choose it, I tap, for example, on the tea leaves and I can see that they are really dark um, because they're in the shadow of the photo. So I tap on them and then now I can choose between increasing the brightness, contrast, saturation and structure. First I'm going to increase the brightness and if I pinch the photo with two fingers I can actually decrease the radius. So I'll increase the brightness. Um, I decrease the contrast ever so slightly. I increase the saturation. In fact, I think I will increase the, um, the contrast again, just a bit. And as you can see, if I tap, it shows me how it was before. And if I uh, let go, it shows me how it is at the moment. So, and then I increase the structure a little bit. Cool, it looks so much better now. I can add another uh, point so I will uh, click the plus button and then tap on the T so and I think in this case I will also just increase the brightness ever so slightly and I'd like to increase the structure as well let's see how that looks like Looks a bit washed out actually maybe I will decrease the brightness again here we go Increase the contrast a little bit and maybe decrease the saturation ever so slightly. Cool, I'm happy with how that looks. Okay, um, I think I am pretty happy. I just want to show you another really cool feature. This photo doesn't really need it as much, however, um, a lot of the times there is stuff within the photo that kind of doesn't really look nice so there is like a, a little bit of dirt somewhere or whatever um, so to get rid of that I use the healing brush and how it works is you have to kind of like zoom in and let's see for example let's say for example I don't really like this uh, piece of uh, oolong <laughs> so all I really need to do is tap onto it and then it would remove it so as you can see um, it's pretty neat <laughs> So now if I zoom out, you see that it's no longer there. Um, so yeah, this is it really. This is sort of my main editing technique. Sometimes what I do as well um, is I um, put in a vignette. I'm not sure if this photo really needs it. Let's see how it looks out of brightness. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. So, uh, and you can also increase the inner brightness. I think I'm pretty happy with the end result, so let me know what you think. I will export it, um, save as a copy, and I am pretty happy. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to take amazing tea photos and I hope that you feel inspired to go ahead and take your own photos. If you do, feel free to tag us at tpro.uk on Instagram 
and if we like your photos we'll make sure to feature you on our Instagram account. Thank you so much. If you like this video subscribe, like, leave us a comment, let me know what other videos you'd like me to make. Bye bye! I must say the best part of taking tea photos is actually being able to drink the tea in the end.